If you marry a Filipina, do you marry her family too? Well, if you marry a Filipina and you go back to your home country, not really, because you're not going to see them, are you, unless you come back on vacation. However, if you live in the Philippines and you marry a Filipina, do you marry her family too? To some extent you do, and what I mean by that is, they're always going to be coming to stay, or should I say visit you. Not a bad thing, no problem, but generally Filipinos have large families. It's not one or two, it can be tens. And there's another thing that uh, the family tends not to do, and that is give fair warn that they're coming. So in other words, they'll just turn up. And you know, sometimes you might want, you know, some relaxing time on your own. All of a sudden, there's three, four, five for family turn up. Now this thing about Filipinas care more about their family than their husbands. You're last on the list, you're way down at the bottom. It might be true with some poorer Filipinas, but it's not true with your average Filipina, so I've been told. Listen, their families are really important to them. Try criticising anything about their family unless they have criticised it first and see what happens. They won't be too happy. You might even get Tampo by criticising her family, even if it's a valid criticism, even if it's constructive criticism. You are criticising her family. And that's like a no-no. Again, this can be frustrating. Look, we're Westerners. We've come from a different culture to their culture. And of course, we need to adapt to an extent. It's only fair. You're in her country, not your own. However, a relationship, whether it be in the Philippines or anywhere else, should be a two-way street. Give and take. You adapt, and to some degree they adapt to you. They've chosen to marry a foreigner, as you've chosen to marry and live in the Philippines, a Filipina. But it doesn't always go that way. It's you're criticising my family. So just be aware of that. You know, it's sometimes hard to button your lip and say nothing if you think something is not right. So be forewarned. Do families, Filipina families, keep asking for money? Yes, it can happen, depending what family you marry into, what income bracket they are, what education they are. That can have a bearing. But what you've got to understand, and the thing that I've learned is, even if you marry a Filipina, and let's say she's middle class, well-educated, it could be half a family, a middle class, a well-educated. The other half might not be so educated, and they're the ones you've got to look out for. It's obvious if you marry a, for, a poor Filipina, you're going to get a lot of a family perhaps looking at you as a foreigner, as a wealthy foreigner, tapping you up for money. But as I've said, even if you go for a, 
a fairly educated middle class Filipina, you're still going to have members of that family that might try the same. Now it's up to you entirely whether you give money, how much you give, how many times you give. Will you get the money back? They want to borrow money or does it really mean give me the money? And of course, if you give it once, why not ask again? And again, and again, until you say no. After all, you're a wealthy foreigner, aren't you? In their eyes. So that's something else to watch for. If you meet a Filipina who's half decent, she'll understand that you're not going to be giving money left, right and centre to members of her family a cousin, or a second cousin, or a third cousin, a cousin three times removed, is what I mean. <clears throat> okay, so you marry a Filipina, do you marry her family? Well, if you marry a Western woman, do you marry her family? If it's Christmas time, are you going to go around to your Western woman's family, your Western wife's family, for, you know, dinner, for Christmas dinner, or Thanksgiving dinner. Yes, you probably are. So again, there's no difference here. You might go to um, her family's house, or invariably, they'll come to yours. So you might not give money as such. But when her family come, your Filipina will invariably be giving them packets of cookies or packets of potato chips or this, that, or left over from the mill to take home with them. That, I think, is acceptable to my mind. Though I have noticed, and this is just an observation on my part, Again, it could be very different with the Filipina you meet and her family. We do give a lot of giving. I don't see much coming back the other direction. I don't see much giving coming back in that direction. Oh well, it is what it is. But there are times, as a Westerner, because we see things different, and even though we're going to be in the Philippines, it doesn't blind us to what we see. Things will annoy us about members of a Filipina's family. I'm sure things will annoy us even from members of a Western wife's family or the ones that we had in the past. But here, because the culture is different, You've got to be mindful of not getting angry over little things that aren't worth it. People opening up your fridge and taking bottles of Coke or chocolate or whatever. And if that happens, speak to your Filipina in private and say, hey, I don't like this happening. I don't mind members of your family taking this and that but can they please not just help themselves to everything? Hopefully your Filipina's reaction won't be tampo or being annoyed with you, but it might well be. Don't forget, a Filipina Westerner relationship, whether it be back in your home country or in the Philippines, should be a two-way thing, giving and taking both ways doesn't often work out that way. They feel that you should understand everything, Filipino style. And sometimes you wonder, if that's the case, why didn't you marry a Filipino? I think we all know the reason to that, don't we? Overall, what do I think of Filipino families? Again, I can't speak 
for the family you'll end up with. They're going to be vastly different. There'll be similarities, of course, because the culture demands similar uh, similarities, but they're different. Overall, my Filipinas family are pretty okay. Like I said, there's a little bit here or there that can irritate me every now and then, but nothing major. The family you inherit might be vastly different and just see you as a big, big cash cow. After all, you're a foreigner. You're a millionaire. I'm not, they'll be thinking. I'm just a poor Filipino. Can you please lend me some money? I'll pay you back in a couple of weeks. Be careful, you may never see it. Can you lend me some more money? Um, I have a medical emergency. Um, I have a bill I desperately need to pay. Uh, my child needs some money for school. Uh, whatever, whatever. Don't become that cash cow. Because once you give an inch, some people will invariably take 10 miles. And you really don't want that to happen, do you? The advantage of marrying a Filipina and taking her back to your home country is you don't have to put up with any of it. Sure, your Filipina might send some money home, but that's it. Sure, your Filipina will talk to her family via, let's say, Facebook Messenger on cam. But hey, who cares? There's no big deal. That's an advantage. You're away from the family. On the other hand, the disadvantage is she might stray and find somebody else, find somebody she perceives as better. If you marry a Filipina and you live in the Philippines, that thing about her straying and finding somebody better is greatly reduced. The odds are in your favour. But, conversely, you have a family down the road, maybe not literally down the road, but not far away, let's say, unless of course you've moved to another island or you are a long way away from her family, then that's a different case altogether. But generally speaking, most people that marry a Filipina, come to the Philippines and live here, are gonna be near to her family. So just be prepared do you marry a Filipina? Do you marry her family too? Not really. But there is some baggage that you'll face that you're going to have to carry. Don't let that baggage be too heavy because you might just sprain a muscle. That's all.